Miguel Literati, deep here in the iBot vault, and we're going to go ahead and hit you with a video blog unboxing, yes, Madison Square Garden, October 17th, uh, HBO pay-per-view, this is as big as it gets, and uh, you've got middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin facing middleweight champion David Lemieux, a little bit of a unification bout there, uh, Golovkin obviously coming in a huge favorite, he's at minus 2,000, uh, Lemieux, plus 1,250, and uh, the over-under, I mean, it's 12 rounds, the over-under is 5.5, you usually don't see an over-under that much, big punchers on both sides here, we'll get into that. The over is at minus 130 and the plus is at 110. And most people are giving Lemieux just a puncher's chance, but there are a couple of people, experts, people I respect in the sport, that uh, say Lemieux has a chance. Uh, uh, Golovkin's not exactly the best defensive fighter on the planet. Uh, Willie Monroe got to him a little bit and, uh, in, in, in his last outing and uh, was able to land some punches. Monroe not known as a big puncher, so you got Lemieux with huge punching power, 31 KOs and 34 stops, uh, 34 fights rather. So um, you got to give Lemieux a little bit more in a puncher's chance here because if Golovkin uh, has not been tested when he has not been hurt. So we'll see how that goes. The, the flyweight support bout, very excited about this. Number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Roman Gonzalez, defends his flyweight title. Um, he's a huge favorite to it, minus 3,000. He's facing Brian Hawaiian Punch uh, Valoria, Valoria plus 1,500. And uh, basically, Gonzalez is, is, does have a lot of pressure on him because now he's the number one pound for pound guy now that Mayweather's gone. And he's got to validate that. And he's on HBO pay per view, so he's going to be seen by the world. Um, he's been fighting overseas and in Japan. He has fought in the States before, but not a lot. Roman Gonzalez, this could be his coming out party. We'll see if uh, the hype is, is uh, equal to what we see this weekend. Um, the other line's up. you got a heavyweight bout, interesting heavyweight bout. you got Luis Ortiz as the prospect. He's a big favorite, minus 3,400. He's facing uh, Matias Ariel Vidando, an uh, Argentinian who's only fought in Argentina. Uh, Argent uh, and he comes in at plus 145. I'm not big on, on this fight here. Uh, this is just ring time for Ortiz. I don't think Vidando is going to be anywhere close to the level that we have here. The known match of Vidando is with uh, Irineo Costa Jr. Uh, from Brazil. And uh, he's proven to be a, a journeyman on, on the world level. So I, I don't expect much out of Vidando. And the last bout on the HBO pay-per-view with odds up at the books is uh, at middleweight. And you got uh, the prospect is Turiano Johnson, minus 2,000, facing Amon O'Kane. Amon coming in at plus 1,250. Huge lines on this. Should be an entertaining card, but, uh, you know, if you look at the lines, the winners are already kind of determined or at least, uh, you know, expected. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if any of the underdogs pull anything out. Talk to you soon.